three years ago, we challenged the world uh, with a, a protein based fiber and we created the world's first ever global globally. It was a um, yellow orb spider silk sock and we made it oh, entirely wow. of, of golden orb spider silk from Madagascar, which was, I think, sixty eight thousand dollars a pound for the yarn. Oh, <laughs> we only wow. had five, we bought five thousand dollars worth of yarn and made a sock and presented it to uh team quick step right before the tour de france and the next day they won the yellow jersey uh, there you go. It's the sock. <laughs> so we created the lucky sock so we're we're right. always on the cusp of innovation because of that reason so that's so, cool yeah what did, what did that sock feel like I, I'm trying to imagine, like, what, what that's, that, is. Is it like Russ, that's a great question because everybody thinks it's sticky and, and whatnot. But we, we've been researching uh, spider silk for probably about 15 years. And the um, way spiders make their silk, they've got these little um, orbs at the, or, or um, little, what do they call, Paul? Um, little fingers at the bottom where their silk comes out. And they can make five different types of uh, silk. Some of it is made for strength and some of it is made for stickiness to catch the fly. Well, the golden orb spider produces a uh, yellow golden silk and this feels just like a silk would feel. And so that's this sock is, is very strong, very, very light. And uh, what we like about it is if you can imagine Lycra stretching, you know, which is a man-made uh, substance or a spider silk stretching, and it's protein based. And so protein based would be uh, biodegradable and the, mm. it wouldn't need oil to, to create, you know, the lycra side of it. But then it also has this structural strength that it's uh, 15 times stronger than steel. I mean, it's incredible stuff. So I do have one in my office and the other one is <laughs> on the wall uh, on a golden, <laughs> I'm sorry, on a crystal foot form at the quick step <laughs> office. <laughs> Do you, do you put it on on special occasions just to? <laughs> I, 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 I wish I had it to show you. And, and right. <laughs> That's amazing. No, so does it, just, does sorry, it look one, different? Wait, one more little fact about that golden orb yeah. spider sock. So it was only the fifth, I believe, the fifth completed item in history, in human history, that has ever been completed clothing item out of, a, uh, out of that material. Wow. Wow. Uh, one of them is on display at the Smithsonian, and it is a high priest robe that was made out of, uh, it was made about uh, 10 years ago. And that's why I started following it uh, because of that. But if you really do your research and find out that the uh, the scientists are trying to take and and um, um, they're, they're combining a goat with a genome of a spider. And when the goat produces milk, there's a, a certain amount of silk in every gallon of milk that the goat, goat produces. Wow. And so they're genetically modifying sheep. We don't want to, or goats, we don't want to go there. So we're looking to do this synthetically. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're trying to do it uh, synthetically. Well, we're not trying to do it. We're paying attention to companies that are making right. it themselves. Uh, uh, so yeah. you, don't want, you don't want to end up with a, a goat-sized spider is basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> not terrifying. <laughs> 